Hi everyone! In this video tutorial we would like to showcase how you can activate and set up the new iPhone 14 series device. So let's suggest that you have received your freshly bought iPhone. It is currently turned off so the first step that you need to take is to start it or power it on. So just hold the side power key until it gets well activate uh, enabled should I say so let me do just that because my phone case is messing up my ability to press the side power button a little bit so let's wait until the system gets booted after that you'll see this little hello message on the different languages so next just swipe upwards choose the language that you would like to use as your setup language therefore in future the system language next choose your country or region mm. let me find mine real quick Already here it is. Next, you can, uh, or should I say, you gotta unlock the SIM card if you have the SIM card already inserted and it is locked. <laughs> Obviously, so let me just unlock my real quick. If not, it will suggest that you either insert the SIM card if your uh, particular iPhone has a SIM card tray or uh, help will also suggest that you install the electronic sim card as well in here you can now set up set up manually the written and spoken languages i'll customize them real quick next it suggests that you either connect to the wi-fi network or continue without the Wi-Fi I'll connect to the network myself already let me re enter the network password real quick next simply wait uh, until the system will do its magic and the iPhone will get successfully activated. There will also be some final uh, little configurations that you need to uh, manage. So let's simply wait as for now. Yep, so in here you can either learn more about data and privacy rules of Apple or continue. Set up the Face ID if you want. We highly insist on you setting up your face ID but I'll do not bother I will not bother us for right now so I'll choose to set up later option Cre create the passcode that you can use you can also set the alpha numeric code custom numeric code for digit numeric code which is pin code or either skip passcode and avoid setting it up in general which I'll choose myself confirm that I will not use the passcode apps and data page suggests that you can uh, restore some data you have from the iCloud Mac or PC transfer directly from other iPhone move data from Android phone or don't transfer apps and data next you gotta enter your Apple ID if you do not have any just go for the for, for, forgot forgot password or don't have an Apple ID and you will be able to register one let me enter my Apple ID uh, credentials of the screen real quick All 
already and next step is quite an interesting one so if your apple id is uh well signed in in some other apple device let's say another iphone mac ipad whatever it will ask you to provide this particular system with the verification code which you'll get on those on the mentioned device that has already that i mean that you already use the uh, entered apple id with so i have another iphone of mine as you can see it mm, sent me this little notification apple id sign in requested so i'll just open it click on the allow option and as you can see it provides me with the apple id verification code which i'll simply enter on the device that i'm currently setting up next you need to either well disagree or agree with the terms and conditions but you gotta agree on them really to uh, proceed with the setup process now just wait until uh, the final configurations will end and will finish Finally, they, I mean, the system suggests if you want that you like change the settings real quick or transfer some apps and data if you haven't uh, done, done it already. Or as you can see, oh, my bad, of course. I'll take everything that I've saved back. It just shows the um, uh, choices that you've gone for while setting up the system. So it shows that we decided not to transfer any apps and or data. Uh, also showed what settings it will mm, apply according in accordance with the uh, other iPhone that have just that I have received the uh, setup verification code from Apple ID code from. Now you can either customize them right here. So customize everything that is that was in the list over here or just simply continue and do those customizations and personalizations later on here decide whether you want or against uh, sharing the iPhone analytics with Apple I'll just share uh, whether you would like to share the same analytics analytics with third party app developers I will not share I will I mean I will decide not to share uh, it also gets you um, accustomed with the emergency features and options the new iPhone provides you with so this emergency SAS call SOS call I'm sorry mm, crash detection new feature that arrived at the with the new iPhone and new iOS 16 and the uh, emergency SOS uh, through satellite feature that will uh, be deployed and uh, well implemented later this fall. So simply tap on this blue continue button. Now swipe this bar upwards and you can start using the iPhone already. So that would be pretty much it for this very long video. Sorry for it taken this much time but I've just tried my best to cover every little detail that you might face while setting up your system for the first time or configuring the iOS after you have factory reset the device so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time and bye bye